Welcome to my channel. Here, we respond to comments. So, here we go. Saying that evolution is biology, or that rejecting ID is science, reflects a misunderstanding of both science and ID. Science is rooted in observation, experimentation, and inference to the best explanation, not ideological dismissal. Intelligent design, ID, offers a scientific explanation for life's complexity by observing patterns of specified complexity and irreducible complexity, patterns that are best explained by intelligence, not by blind chance. For example, the bacterial flagellum is an irreducibly complex molecular machine with multiple interacting parts. If one part is removed, the entire system fails. Such systems could not arise through gradual evolutionary steps because they only function when fully assembled. This points to design rather than unguided natural processes. As biochemist Michael Behe notes, an irreducibly complex system cannot be produced directly by slight successive modifications. A precursor missing even a single part is by definition non-functional. Additionally, the interdependence of life is too intricate to be explained by random processes. Animals need plants, plants need sunlight and oxygen, and the balance of ecosystems depends on many factors. This interwoven complexity strongly suggests design. Saying that we evolved from animals is overly simplistic because it fails to address these dependencies and the origin of the first life itself. It is also important to note that neither evolution nor abiogenesis has been empirically proven. Abiogenesis, the idea that life emerged from non-life, remains speculative, with no laboratory experiment able to replicate such an event. Evolution fails to account for the origin of complex biological information encoded in DNA and the sudden appearance of diverse life forms in events like the Cambrian explosion. Atheists often dismiss ID by saying it is not science or an excuse for an explanation. However, this dismissal ignores the scientific method, which seeks to follow the evidence wherever it leads. ID follows this principle by observing that specified complexity, such as the information found in DNA, always originates from intelligence. Science should be open to all explanations, including design, instead of insisting that only naturalistic explanations are valid. As physicist Paul Davies puts it, the impression of design is overwhelming. The weakness of atheism lies in its reliance on assumptions without evidence. Rejecting ID without providing observable, testable evidence for naturalistic alternatives is not scientific. It is philosophical bias. Atheists have failed to meet the requirements to debunk ID as they have not demonstrated how complex systems, information-rich molecules, or the origin of life can arise from unguided processes. In conclusion, true science is about following the evidence, not dismissing it. ID offers testable hypotheses about the origins of complexity and information, while atheism provides no empirical evidence for the claims it makes about life emerging naturally. Simply rejecting ID is not enough. Scientific rigor demands an alternative explanation with observable support. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the comments.